To speed up the process a little bit, I already have on one eye, half of my face, and both my brows. Jumping right on in to my eyeshadow base, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation just to cover up any veins and redness on my eyelids. I'm gonna go in and set that cream with a neutral nude skin tone bone colored eyeshadow just to prevent any creasing that may occur. Going in with the Morphe 35O palette, I'm gonna take this orangey cream color right here and I'm gonna start dusting this into the crease of my eye. I'm using windshield wiper motions as well as circular motions and I'm just going back and forth. And then I'm gonna go in with these two orangey reddish shadows in the palette and I'm going to carve out that crease and extend out that outer corner. I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions again and I'm just gonna be blending those shadows together, not taking it too high to the brow bone. Taking a more deeper color red shadow, this is kind of like a brick color, and I'm placing this mainly on the outer third of my eye with a very small precise pencil brush. And I'm gonna be dusting this into the crease a little bit and just blending the shadows all together. And I also drag this down to the lower lash line as well. To deepen up that outer corner even further, I am going to go in with a very dark brown shadow and a pencil brush just to create more depth to the outer corner. And then again, just blend everything so that there are no harsh lines. For the main star of the show, I'm using Makeup Geek's Hologram Pigment. I'm first going to go in with the Too Faced Glitter Glue Adhesive just to prep the lid to make the pigment stick and become more intense and then I'm going to go in with a MAC 242 brush and pack that on to the lid a little bit in the inner corner and just kind of fading that out to the outer corner. We don't want a lot of pigment on the outer corner, just mainly the inner part of our eyes and the middle. And then as always, make sure to blend. I am going to go ahead and put on my winged liner. I am using the Makeup Geek Gel Liner, and I believe this is in the color Slate. I could be wrong, but it is their black gel liner, so with any gel liner that you may have, go ahead and create your wing. I'm using a bent eyeliner brush, and I'm going to extend that wing out, and then bring it back in and connect it to my eyelid. For lashes today, I am using the Ardell Double Up Wispies. These are the Double Up Demi Wispies, and I did find these at Sally's. To prep the skin for foundation, I'm going to go in and use the Becca Backlight Filtering Primer. And then for foundation, I am going to be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and I am in the shade N1. I'm going to be using an Artiste Oval 7 brush to apply. For concealer today, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is in the shade NW20. And I'm using a very tiny little beauty blender sponge. This is from Morphe Cosmetics. It's their little trio sponges that they have, and I'm just going to be blending that out. I'm going to immediately set that cream with a little bit of translucent powder, and then we're jumping right on in to bronzing up the skin. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm taking these two shades here, and on a Japanesque contouring and highlighting brush, I'm going to add more depth and color to the face, add a little bit more warmth, and I'm also going to be dragging this down to the jawline. I was watching in Nashville when I was filming this, and that scene was intense. I don't want to give any spoilers, so I am on season one, so I'm pretty new to the game. <laughs> I'm going to go in and place that pigment on the center of our lower lash line. I'm also taking the two orange shades that we use on the crease, and I'm going to be blending that out on the lower lash line as well. For blush today, I'm taking Milani's Rose de Oro blush. And then for my highlight today, I am super excited to be having this palette in my hands. I went to a couple Ulta's to find this and I'm so happy I have it. It is the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade or the palette Sun Dipped. So I'm just taking a combination of Summer and Moonstone and I'm just going to be placing this on the tops of our cheekbones, creating a C shape around the eye. And put on your sunglasses here, folks, because we are shining bright to the gods. I'm also going to take those shades and highlight my brow bone 
and my inner tear duct. And lastly, we are on to lips. I do have two options for you today. First one, of course, is a nude lip. I just use Max Oak Lip Liner and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Undressed. Option number two, if you're feeling a little bit more bold and adventurous, I am using Freakin' Frack from ColourPop, and this is their Ultra Satin Lip and the corresponding lip liner. So that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.